Today I'm going to show you how to knit a simple Christmas garland using a circular knitting machine. This is a fun way to decorate your home and it's easy to customize with different colors for various holidays and occasions. If you enjoy this project, you might also like my pattern books, Circular Knitting Machine Patterns Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available now on Amazon. And you can find this pattern and many more in my Etsy shop. You can find the links to both my pattern books and my shop in the description below. In terms of supplies, for this project I'm using an Addy Express Professional 22 Needle Circular Knitting Machine, loops and threads impeccable yarn in a variety of colors, some stuffing, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. The garland shown here measures approximately 60 inches wide. However, the length will vary depending on your yarn intention. If you make this project, please tag me on social media when you share your work. You can find me at Diana Levine Knits on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date when I release my latest tutorials. Let's get started on the garland. Step one is knitting the piece. Cast onto a 22 needle circular knitting machine using your first color yarn. Wrap the yarn around the first needle and then weave it back and forth along all the needles until you reach the end of the row. When you approach the first needle again, wrap the yarn behind the needle to its right and then place the yarn into the yarn holder. Hold the yarn with your left hand to provide tension and knit a few more stitches. Then pause the knitting and set your counter back to zero. For the first section of the garland, knit 15 rows. After you reach 15 rows, cut a yarn tail of about 4 to 5 inches and throw it in the middle of the machine to the right of the first needle. Then switch to the second yarn color by placing a similar length yarn tail between the same two needles and place the new yarn into the yarn holder. Hold the two tails together close and low as you slowly begin to knit the next row. After a few stitches, pause the knitting and set your counter back to zero. Knit 14 rows for every remaining section, except for the last section, which will be 15 rows. After about 4 or 5 rows in the second yarn color, pause the knitting and tie a quick temporary knot between the yarn tails. We'll come back to finalize the knots later, so one quick knot works well. Continue knitting until the second section reaches 14 rows. Continue knitting 14 rows per section until you've reached the desired length for your garland. For reference, the garland shown here includes 22 sections total. 15 rows for the first and last sections, and 14 rows for the 20 sections in between. As the work gets longer, you'll need to roll the work up inside the machine if your machine is set up as normal on the table. However, if you're knitting a longer garland, such as the project shown here, you may want to set up your machine between two tables of the same height, so that the work falls down between the tables rather than having to roll it up inside the machine. I just finished the last section of my piece, which is a total of 310 rows. I've brought it back to my craft table and now it's time to cast off. Cut a long yarn tail and thread it onto a darning needle. Turn the knob a few stitches and identify the needle from where the yarn is emerging. Begin with the needle to its left. Use the darning needle to pick up all the stitches off the machine, continuing to rotate the knob a few stitches as you work. After a few stitches, you can try picking up two or three at a time, just be careful not to pull any other stitches off while you work. Pull the work out of the machine and turn the piece inside out. Quick note, for projects with stuffing, I usually prefer to use double layered knitting because it's thicker and will hold the stuffing in better over time, and you also won't see through to the stuffing as much as you would with a single layer. However, for this project, I personally find it's easier to cinch the pieces when I use a single layer. That being said, if you prefer to use double layered knitting because of the stuffing, you can achieve this in two ways. You could double the length of your knitting and bring half of the piece inside as if you were making a very long hat. Or if that's too long of a piece to knit, you could knit two separate pieces in the same length and place one piece inside the other. Step two is securing the yarn tails with knots. With the piece turned inside out, you'll see many yarn tails from where you switched colors. With each pair of yarn tails, secure the yarn tails with a couple of good knots and trim the tails. Continue all the way around the piece to make sure that all of the yarn tails are secured with knots. Then turn the piece right side out. Step three is adding the stuffing. Lay the knitting out flat. Pull a handful of stuffing, roughly similar to the size of one section of knitting. You don't want to overstuff the work, so err on the side of smaller rather than larger so it doesn't stretch out the stitches. Place the stuffing inside the work into a section in the middle of the piece. After you add the stuffing, gently pinch around the sides of the section. The goal is to place the stuffing in the middle of the section but not at the edges, which will make it easier to cinch at the end. Add a second handful of stuffing to the next section and again pinch the sides as you work to make sure the stuffing is in the center of the section but not at the sides. Continue adding a handful of stuffing to each section until you reach the end of the work. After you've finished adding a handful of stuffing to the last section on this side, pull the yarn tail to cinch the end closed. Secure the cinch with a few good knots. Then, using the yarn tail, tie a small loop to the end of the work, which you'll use later when displaying the garland. The first half of the work is ready. Next, add stuffing to the other side of the work. Work in the same process, adding one handful of stuffing to each section, 
and pinching the sides as you work until you reach the other side of the piece. Just like before, when you finish adding stuffing to the last piece, use the yarn tail to cinch the piece closed, secure the yarn with a few good knots, and then add a loop to use when displaying the garland on the wall. You've now finished adding all the stuffing to the piece, and it's time to cinch the sections closed. Step four is cinching the sections. Cut a length of yarn for each section of the work. Using a length from your first yarn color, thread the yarn onto a darning needle. Thread the yarn through the first half of each V-shaped stitch all the way around the last row of the first section. This will create a drawstring to use when cinching. Using the two yarn tails, tie a knot as tightly as you can without breaking the yarn. Secure that knot with a second knot. Then, using the longer yarn tail, wrap the yarn around the outside of the cinch, and then secure the yarn tails with another good knot, pulling as tightly as you can without breaking the yarn. Then, thread the yarn tails into the center of the work and trim the tails. You've just finished cinching the first section of the garland. Next, grab a length of yarn in the same color as the second section, and again, thread through the first half of every V-shaped stitch around the last row of the second section. Continue in the same process as the first section to cinch the piece, secure with a couple of knots, wrap the yarn around a second time, pull as tightly as you can without breaking the yarn, and secure the second cinch with another couple of good knots, and weave the yarn tails into the center of the work. You've now finished cinching around the second section of the garland. Continue in the same process, cinching every section at the last row until the end of the piece. After you've finished cinching all the pieces and weaved in all of the yarn tails, your garland is complete. You can use the loops on the first and last pieces to attach the garland to the wall using small wall hooks. If you enjoy this pattern, please check out my Knitting Machine Pattern Books, Circular Knitting Machine Patterns Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available now on Amazon. And you can find this pattern and many more in my Etsy shop linked below. If you make this project, please tag me at Knits on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date when I release my latest tutorials.